So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's um, webinar hosted by um, EBEX and DSI. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us, and I'd like to hope you'll find today's session um, to be very informative. Um, so today's session is focused on looking at how you can extend your Microsoft Dynamics um, AX or 365 for finance and operations warehouse management solution using the DSI ScanWorks solution. I'd like to introduce myself firstly. My name's Ken Bullough. Um, I'm an Enterprise Solution Director here at eBex. Um, I have over 15 years experience in Microsoft Dynamics. Um, I've worked across a broad range of organizations, um, including very complex supply chain organizations. And I'm joined uh, here today by the team from DSI, and they'll be taking you through some of what the DSI ScanWorks solution can offer. Um, in a complex supply chain organization. So first of all, just a little bit about eBex for those of you who are not familiar with eBex. Um, eBex was founded in 1999. Um, it is a privately owned and managed company, um, and we have a strategic alliance with the DXC organization. Uh, we're almost 400 staff now in the UK, coming very close to it and have in excess of over 400 Microsoft Dynamics clients. Um, we are 100% Microsoft technology focused, and we partnered with organizations such as DSI to try and deliver the best possible value in deploying those solutions to, to your organizations. As many people will be aware, um, eBex has been partner of the year on numerous occasions. And as a result, we have a lot of accolades from Microsoft for the great work we do with our clients. So without further ado, um, I will transfer you across to give you an overview of the DSI ScanWorks solution, and then we'll move on to a demo um, from Chris a little bit later on. Thank you, Ken, and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, in the next few minutes, I'm going to explore some ways uh, which you can leverage uh, your investment in Dynamics and uh, extend its use in and around the warehouse. But firstly, let's chat about why, do you, why you would want to do this and also how you can identify what to do. There are some significant advantages in keeping as much operational data as possible in one system, uh, i.e. dynamics. You're going to be able to ensure it's available and visible uh, across the organization. And if you avoid implementing separate external sy systems, such as a warehouse management system, you're going to minimize conflicting information and people in your business will be able to, will be talking all about the same data. And if you're a manufacturer and you do things like production picking, work orders and so on, then running your manufacturing and your inventory from the same system is going to have its obvious benefits. Uh, you'll be able to avoid having silos of knowledge on how to operate uh, particular different systems, and you'll be able to leverage uh, the skills that you have more effectively. And your future, future strategy in terms of migration, uh, for example, moving to the cloud, uh, will also be far more easily managed. But what do we mean by extending the use of Dynamics and maximizing performance? Essentially, we mean building on your Dynamics ERP with the inbuilt warehouse management options and then potentially delivering powerful additional speed and agility using mobile data collection with barcode scanners and potentially RFID technology. There are clearly a raft of business reasons why you'd want to enhance your warehouse operation. It boils down to two things, customer service and operational efficiency. For example, finding ways to consistently speed up warehouse order picking and shipping is going to improve customer satisfaction, generate quicker cash quicker, facilitate repeat orders, save labor costs, and of course, sweat, sweat those expensive warehouse assets. It's rarely true that there is no sco scope to improve efficiency. Business conditions are now so dynamic that the need to change and improve it is, is constant. Uh, in spite of this, uh, many business we come, businesses that we come across resist the opportunity to improve warehouse performance. Here are some of the examples uh, of the reasons uh, we commonly hear. 
we implemented a standard set of processes when we implemented AX, uh, and it's going to be a lot of uh, effort for us to change that. We're not sure of the right approach, so we're going to wait for the move to D365. And of course, that can potentially take years to happen. And meanwhile, the business has to suffer continuing warehouse inefficiencies. We're already good to perfect. We ship 97% of orders on time, so there's no room for us to improve. Okay, well, remember the 97%, because we'll come back to that in a bit. Our business is special, and in order to improve things, we would actually need a, warehouse, a dedicated warehouse management system. Some businesses are just not sure where to start. And in fact, there are a whole load of areas where inefficiencies develop and which can be improved upon. And of course, care must be taken not to implement an ineffective solution, which merely transfers an inefficiency from one place in the warehouse to another. The ability to respond to change in an agile manner is critical to maintaining support for the fast moving efficient warehouse. There's a list of uh, potential focus areas here, but just to pick out a couple of examples. Uh, the advent of commerce and multi-channel is driving real, a real need for change in warehouse processes across the board. Increasing product ranges, rapid packaging changes, palletization, increasing demand for traceability and batch management are all driving needs for flexibility or rapid change in warehouse processes. And, uh, not, and also even stricter audit compliance with quarantine and adherence to FIFO, LIFO and FISH stockholding rules. Uh, FISH, yes, you know what FISH is. Um, that's a very old stock policy that's still commonly found today uh, to be in existence. It's first in, still here. So how do you know what to change and where to start? One method of identifying how well you're, you're doing in the warehouse is to benchmark yourselves against other businesses. Uh, the Warehouse Education and Research Council runs an annual distribution center uh, performance benchmark. And this allows you to compare your business against hundreds of other businesses across hundreds of metrics in customer service, financial capacity and quality and so on. It's open to US business and UK businesses, uh, UK businesses who are members of the UK Warehousing Association. Now, the mere fact that uh, participants in this survey uh, are measuring themselves drives improvement, as the diagram on the left-hand side shows. For example, this is an example of on-time shipments, and you can see that the best in class and also the median measures for on-time shipment have, include, have improved gradually over the years. Now, you may say, well, we're different from anyone else, so the benchmark's not going to help us. Well, that's not so. Uh, the benchmark has been found to be offer valid analysis, re regardless of the size of your company, the industry you're in, the strategy, and so on. Now, we don't have time today to go into full details of this, so I encourage you to go to uh, work or the UK Warehouse Association and find out more. But let's look at a couple of quick examples. Let's start with on-time shipments. This is consistently rated the most important customer service uh, metric in the in available from the many available in the survey. Um, data from respondent businesses is split into quintiles, ranging from best in class in column six there, down to major opportunity for improvement in column two. And a typical business would be represented by column four. Now, remember that 97% on-time shipment rate? Well, if you felt you were performing well with 97%, that you can see from the survey that actually puts you at a disadvantage compared to other businesses. The best in class performance is almost 99.9% .9 on-time shipment, and the median is 98%. Quickly with another metric, let's, um, which is uh, uh, in the inbound warehouse, doctor stop time 
um, is the most important metric in the inbound part of the survey uh, because uh, efficiency and put away facilitates making stock available for s selling, picking and shipping. As we visit businesses around the world, we commonly see stock that's been on the dock for 12 hours and sometimes much longer. That's much longer than it takes most businesses. The typical business takes between four and a half and eight hours to put away product and the best in class achieves that in less than two hours. So it's clear that unless you know what other business is achieving, you can quite easily end up, end up at the wrong end of the curve. Okay, let's look at the uh, options that Microsoft provides for uh, within Dynamics for warehouse management. You have the basic warehousing facility uh, functionality called WMS, and the two forms of advanced warehousing called WMS2 and WHS. Let's look at each briefly. The basic form of warehousing uh, available in all versions of Dynamics, including Dynamics 365 for operations, is called WMS. It supports inventory transactions for, from receiving through to shipping, but there is no integrated data collection. So to do mobile scanning using WMS, you would need third-party third scanning software such as DSI ScanWorks. WMS2 is a form of advanced warehousing that was available in earlier versions of Dynamics AX, but is not available in Dynamics 365. It includes support for some advanced requirements such as pallet transport, multiple sales orders per shipment, and so on, but there is, again, no onboard data collection. The current form of advanced warehousing comes as WHS, and that's a powerful set of facilities designed for highly distribution-oriented businesses. And that is that is available in, in Dynamics 365 for operations. It introduces the concept of work te templates to, to accomplish all warehouse activities. And it will support advanced activities such as directed put-away, pallet handling, wave picking, and so on. WHS comes with its own data collection app, which is a functional app, but usually takes quite a large amount of effort to set it all up. There are also some known functionality gaps and issues which may well inhibit your progress in tuning up your warehouse. Here are a couple of examples where the D365 app limits ease of use and warehouse performance. It doesn't allow you to look up something, some, some, some supporting information from the ERP system itself. You have to enter all data from the terminal or scan a or scan a barcode. So for example, when you're doing a receive into the warehouse, you must have the PO details available on paper, for example, a delivery note, and you can't refer to a list of POs that are open within your ERP. A work template has to be set up for every transaction you want to do. Now this can be both complex and pretty time consuming. When you're receiving a lot of product under the same order line, uh, people generally want to scan the serial numbers rapidly, item by item. This isn't possible with the D365 app. Similarly, scanning a single barcode, which could consist of uh, multiple fields of data, is quicker than scanning uh, a number of separate barcodes. Uh, that's not possible with the D365 app. And, and also, printing a label on demand is part of a process. For example, receiving a product in, inbound and then generating the barcode label from within the app. It's not possible. If you also want to do things like support legacy devices or uh, latter-day de devices such as Apple smartphones or tablets, uh, it may not be possible. So these are common facilities uh, which are used in many warehouses today and that makes them perform, uh, helps them perform more rapidly and effectively. So. There's some areas that, uh, some clear gaps in what the uh, D365 app can deliver for you. Now, before we talk about ScanWorks, just a brief word on why we at DSI are qualified to talk to you on this subject. Um, we've been implementing warehouse data collection for over 30 years uh, across a wide range of ERP systems. Uh, we've probably done over 4,000 implementations and 
within this, our team of dedicated dynamics experts has been, been doing it for at least 20 years. Our, uh, our ScanWorks product is a purpose-built, highly flexible data collection app to help you get the best out of Dynamics uh, warehousing functionality. It features tight, real-time integration with Dynamics, and it supports every version of AX or D365 and their various warehousing options. A few important aspects. It's extremely flexible to configure, and it's easy for warehouse, managers, uh, warehouse uh, users to use. It allows you to create a very efficient and streamlined user experience and using either some of the 70 standard transactions supplied or even your own transaction created from the custom transaction builder. Label printing is fully integrated into the app and you can support basically any mobile device type, scanner, phone, tablet, through either native support or through an HTML5 browser. Rather than go into, here, uh, into detail here, um, my colleague Chris Lee will shortly be giving an illustrative demonstration of these aspects. And before he does that, though, I want to briefly outline some different ways that ScanWorks has helped various dynamics-based businesses enhance their warehouse processes. Sinsil Group, uh, it's a windows and doors manufacturer based here in the UK, and they run a very complicated, high-velocity, 24 by 7 warehouse uh, at their manufacturing unit in Mansfield. They originally felt that they would need a specialist warehouse management system to handle the complexity, and we were prepared to invest significant of money to do this. When they learned more about the warehouse functionality within Dynamics, they understood they could achieve everything they needed from one system. They understood the benefits of keeping the data all in one place, integrating with their manufacturing, and so on. Now, they're currently on AX 2009, but with a multi year migration project, towards D365 plan to start next year. But they needed data collection now to drive efficiency gains uh, in, in the warehouse and uh, standardized processes. So they're using ScanWorks to support that migration strategy so they can adopt new uh, functionality offered by D365 with no major upheaval in uh, warehouse processes or, or user experience when they, when they migrate. In order to automate their warehouse process, processes, we've actually retro-engineered some 2012 functionality to work in conjunction with the 2009 ERP. Here are a couple of examples of businesses which needed scanning in the warehouse but didn't want to adopt advanced warehousing to achieve it. Both are basic WMS users, but Bell Power, a global manufacturing of a manufacturer of power solutions is on D365, while Bemis, a manufacturer of adhesives, is currently on AX 2012. Bell Power specifically required tracking of pallets, license plating, and on demand la label printing. Um, and as part of their upgrade program from 2009 to 2012, Bemis took the opportunity to fix issues with their existing data collection solution, which required heavy investment when they wanted to reprogram to support change. On top of being costly to modify, the turnaround time in making those changes was affecting warehouse productivity. Bemis took the opportunity to go to the market and identified ScanWorks as an easy to use solution that they could quickly uh, deploy to mobilize the warehouse. And finally, some more examples, this time of businesses who have implemented Dynamics Advanced Warehousing, some, again, some on AX2012, some on D365. They have all enhanced their warehouse processing using, uh, processes using ScanWorks. Reliance Steel, a US steel stockholder, use, uses the data lookup features of ScanWorks and the composite barcode facilities uh, to streamline their activities. Every, Everage, on the other hand, was happy with some, some of the standard uh, WHS scanning for their picking processes, but used ScanWorks to enhance processes in receiving, counting, and shipping. So they now run a combined WHS uh, and scanning uh, app, uh, ScanWorks scanning app, sorry. Finally, Nonin, a med medical device manufacturer, 
wanted to uh, improve production operations by implementing lean inventory within AX2012. Uh, a complete solution would have to automate data collection uh, across production, distribution, and uh, across customer service. They uh, had implemented scanning with advanced warehousing, but they wanted to speed up response times and streamline processes further, particularly in the, in the distribution area. So they now run a, a hybrid of WHS scanning and DSI scan works to deliver greater flexibility and, and performance. And that's increased the speed of and ac accuracy of data capture. It's significantly reduced shipping errors. It's reduced labor costs to perform uh, important inventory audits, which are a necessary part of its uh, compliance activities. Um, so they've achieved some significant benefits there. So those are just a few examples of how DSI ScanWorks has enhanced Dynamics warehouse management facilities for our customers. So we're now going to illustrate this with a short demonstration, which is going to be run by my colleague, Chris Lee. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we're just going to run a whistle-stop uh, tour through uh, the ScanWorks product, just to look at how it's integrated into both the AX product 2009-2012 and into D365 and uh, how easy it is to control and manage. So if we just jump out of the presentation here. And I just do something in the background. Um, what you should be able to see on the screen now is on the left hand side, you've got the sort of the standard sort of AX 2012 2009 look and feel. And then what we've got on the right hand side here is um, the web browser interface for um, the ScanWorks product. So we'll log back in and we'll look at that through, um, as we go on. But what you can see here is ScanWorks actually is a product that's integrated into the the console of 2012 or 2009, giving you both control and the ability to tailor how the product works inside your business. So as you can see, the ScanWorks configuration screen looks very similar to anything else inside uh, the AX world. And we have control over things like user accounts. Um, as you can see, here's my user in the system. And you have control over you know, my security, my password, where I work and what I do, what printers I can print things to. And, and again, this is all driven by the console inside the inside AX. We can also do things like change the menus and the navigation for the users. Um, we'll be looking at the demo menu inside the system here, and as you'll see, the menu actually looks and feels like it does inside the uh, the configuration console. So I can move and change items. I can move items up and down in the menu to allow me to to make the the items and the descriptions of items inside those menus much more friendly to my business. We can also, if you look at the more advanced functionality, is we can actually take some of those standard 70 functions that Lindsay was talking about and tailor those around how you want your business to, to move. As you see, the PO receipt function in WHS for us has a lot of pieces inside it. Only some of them are compulsory. So the purchase order number, for example, um, is a compulsory piece of how the transaction needs to run. So I can't turn that off. But I can change the ID. For, the, for it, so if I don't need it to be called purchase order or purchase ID, I can change that so my users are used to the friendly look and feel of how I need to do it. And then if I look at something like Pixlip, again, I can turn off that field inside the application without any detriment to how the application runs or how it interfaces into um, the background of, um, of, of Dynamics. So what we'll do is we'll jump out and we'll have a look at the, the console here inside the web browser. We have a, a variety of ways of connecting, either a web browser interface um, that can be used for um, modern day interfaces, HTML5, or we have a console-based one for more legacy-based uh, scanning equipment. So if you have some uh, legacy scanning equipment, then uh, the ScanWorks product has a console, uh, a client that sits on top of that and that will allow you to, to uh, use that product on some um, pre-bought, pre-used um, scanning hardware. So we're just going to look at some receiving here. So if I open up the receiving thing, as you can see, um, because I'm the administrator and because we've chosen the menu, I can look at both WMS transactions or WHS transactions in here. But I can, of course, take them away um, based around what my users is. And as we come in, you can see I've got PO receipt. I can transfer receipt. I can return. I can process work or I can back up. And the, all of the menus follow through this sort of functionality. So if I go and look at PO receipt, um, what we'll do is we'll go and bring up a purchase order 
inside AX, and 2002 is the order that we wish. So this is an open order in the system, as you can see. Now, one of the things is the ability for us to add lookups into areas. So we can, inside the application, either scan, type, or use the lookup field to show open purchase orders inside the system for today. So there's a big choice here. So instead of choosing one, what we'll do is we'll scan one into the system. And I need to scan purchase order number. Hopefully you can hear the scanner beeping away here. Now what it's doing is the system here is validating all of the entry into what we're typing into the screen and then we'll upload the entire transaction at the end. So the system wants me to put a pack ship number in, the supplier's pack number, so I can do that. Um, it's a free text field. And again, I can now start either scanning items or again, I can look up the number of items using the lookup values for how many items are on my order today. Today we have one item, one part number, and there's 10 of those to receive. So again, we'll use it to scan the items in rather than picking from a list to bring down the errors and to, to, to give us the functionality. So if I scan the item, again, we're validating that that item is valid for the list and valid for our order. We can move through. Now, what you can see as we've moved through the, the menu here, it's gone away and it's found the description, filled that into a field, it's told us the line number that we're on. Serial number is blank because we're not recording a serial number for this item, but I do need to record a batch number. So as you can see, the application drives itself through for the user to enable you to cut down screens in the way it moves forward. So I'll put a batch number in. We'll move forward, it'll pull in information. And again, it's pulling down quantity remaining and it wants me to um, it wants me to paste the location because of course we want to be tra we want everything traceable inside our system. So what we need is then to have a location barcode for the system to enable us to put the product away or even move it around. So we'll put it by our bay door. Um, it requires a license plate, so we know where we're putting it. So we'll just call it 101. And then finally, I need to record the number. So we'll record all 10. The system now allows us to save the transaction and move forward. So the receipt has been posted. So if I come back and do a refresh over here, we'll see that our open order now, 2,202, is now a received order. So we've just in real time received the product looked at the order in the system, validated all the pieces and move forward. So what we can do now is we can just look at, a quick look at how that looks inside D365. So if you hold on while I just change screens, and you'll see there's a high level of similarity between the system. So hopefully you can see that we've changed into our D365. And again, as you'll see, Scanworks is an integrated piece of the product. It comes with a menu. And all the things we looked at before are available in here, user accounts, for example, and those sort of things. So I can look at me and I can change those sort of things. And again, I can control the menus and everything in the same way that I did inside, inside AX. And if I log back in as a user in the system, you'll see that the menu structure looks the same. I can go and do receiving. I can do a PO receipt in the system and it means that my users at the, in the warehouse have no change even if we're taking and um, utilizing more functionality out of D365. I can then again use list of values, I can pick my order and so on and so on. So I can receive the application in exactly the same way that the users saw it before. So I'm not making change to my users, I'm not making change to my system but I could be adding additional functionality that D365 allows me to use inside the system. So that's just a whistle stop tour through the system. Um, I think we're just about to get to the point where we need to wrap up. So I don't know if there's any questions um, while we're thinking about that. Here's a quick summary. Scanworks can support a variety of strategies to maximize your investment, no matter where you start inside the Microsoft environment, whether that's 2009, 2012, or into D365. And it can enhance the functionality of the warehouse functions that you choose or that you need for your business. So we can enhance WMS, advanced warehousing, and also we can help support migratory strategies by helping you move forward from, you know, the, the version of 2009 you're on now into a cloud-based D365. With that, Thanks, Chris. questions?
Yeah, thanks very much, Chris. Well, if anyone has any questions, if they'd like to raise their hand on the call, everyone is muted, but I'll happily unmute you um, to ask a question. If not, um, I would like to thank absolutely everyone for joining. Um, hopefully the session has been very informative. And if you do have any questions, please reach out to the team at eBex. We'd be more than happy to field those questions and help you um, in improving your warehouse um, performance. Yeah, I think I've got a question from uh, Jason Chung. Oh, hi. I, I just wanted to know if um, if we could have access to those uh, those PowerPoint slides that you guys were showing. Uh, the webinar will be posted up on the eBex um, website. I don't think we normally send out the okay. slides, but certainly the webinar will be posted on uh, the eBex website. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very informative. Thank you. Is there any other questions? Okay, well, I think that's it then. So thank you everyone for attending. Um, greatly appreciated and um, look forward to speaking to some of you soon. Thank you.